Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can recycle an old headset or speaker that is not Bluetooth and convert it to Bluetooth with also some extra features that are very good. Well, the components we are going to use are actually very few. We are going to use this chip, which is the Bluetooth chip, which is the one that is going to take care of everything more or less. A 500 MA battery and 3.7 volts. That is a single cell, a little button or switch, whichever you prefer, and a charge regulator for the battery, although our battery already comes with a charge and discharge regulator. I'm adding an external one for extra protection. It's better to have more than less. This is the headset I'm going to use. It's a super common headset that surely more than one person has had at some point in their life. Because of, besides it's cheap and it sounds good, it is super common in its time. I remember everyone had it. In fact, I've had it for a long time, precisely for that reason. And I've kept it because, well, it's been forgotten. So it's perfect for our test to convert it to Bluetooth. First, remove the pads. I remove both, but it's not necessary. You only need to remove the one with the cable, where the cable goes. And you can do this with any earphone, but it must have only one cable, not a cable for each side. Because even though you will be able to do it, it will be more complex for you. Anyway, we disassemble our earphone, and we see that what it actually contains is very basic. I mean, it only has the cable that goes in the music and the two little speakers. Another cable runs from one side of the headphone to the other, carrying audio to the other ear. One is the right and the other is the left. They have three wires, one being the common ground shared by both, which is the brown wire. The red wire is the one that goes to one side. That is the left or the right. It's the same. And the green wire is the one that goes to the other side. This is how the stereo sound of the earphone is formed. If it had two wires, it would be a mono earphone, which are actually very rare, because who is going to be a mono earphone? Anyway, let's connect them with our Bluetooth adapter. It's a bit hard to see in the video, but I'm going to leave this graphic where you can see the detail very well so you can connect it. Be careful because the pins are very small and the soldering can get complicated. But if you put a little patience into it, it becomes much easier. And above all, it becomes much easier. If you use a thin cable, it works better for this project than a thick one, which I used. It still works, but not as well. After soldering it, you're going to stick the adapter wherever you want on the headset. In fact, you can stick it on the back or wherever you have space. I stuck it there on the side because on this headset, there is plenty of space for everything. And... I'm going to make a hole where the old cable used to be. What for? I'm going to put a 3.5 jack there, which is the input, well, the most known for audio, and, and that surely all components have. So we're not going to be creating new inputs. We simply use a 3.51 and solder it uh, as it is in this um, diagram. One important thing is that the ground, the light brown cable, is well connected, and the earth it's always in the same position. It's always at the bottom of everything. And above, let's say, no matter how much the connector changes, it will always be that. The other two can be connected randomly. I also connected the battery to the negative and positive port of our Bluetooth adapter. I also leave you the graph again so you can see better where I put it. And I looked for a place to put the switch to turn the headset on and off. Honestly, I couldn't find a, 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 let's say, good place, so I ended up putting it on the side and back so it's not visible. But it's not going to be visible. Um, if my button was red, a very strong red, I don't know why the button only came in this color, but well, that's, it's not a big deal. I used a black permanent marker to color it black, making it less noticeable and more discreet. I scratched next to the button to help the glue adhere better and used a bit of silicone. However, the silicone would come off when the button was pressed. So then I used a bit of two-component epoxy putty, the kind that's transparent and sticks very strongly. I'm now using it for almost everything. Then I looked for a place to put the battery charging adapter. I put it up here. So when the cable was in place, it wasn't actually visible. So the charging connector 
wouldn't be seen. Because I had to make a little hole and I didn't like the hole being there uh, all button-like, but well, you can also put it wherever you want. Also, if you're clever, you can install a wireless charging adapter. Honestly, I don't think spending so much on this makes sense, but it's your decision. Once this is done, we put it back together and replace the pads just as they were before. In this model, they simply snap in like this, and then there's a groove where they go. And now our Bluetooth headset converted to Bluetooth is ready, which also has a couple of extra features that are very good. Well, the first one is the common one. Let's say we turn it on. We look for the name of our adapter, which in this case is BK8000. And we can now connect to the adapter and play music. As you can hear, the sound will be audible through both speakers of the original headphones. With a pretty good sound quality, well, at least the same quality as when I used it with the cable. And the, the other use, which I think is one of the best, is also, for example, to use it to play music. For example, my car doesn't have Bluetooth and it has an auxiliary. So I put the headset on, I put the 3.5 cable on it and connect it to the outside of the car. And you can listen to the music by controlling it with the cell phone. Uh, I think it's a very good and quick project to give new life to those headphones that perhaps are already, let's say, forgotten. Or to do it, for example, inside a speaker or anything that plays music. And that is old and does not come with Bluetooth. By the way, the Bluetooth chip we use only consumes 45 mAh per hour. And since our battery has 500, it would last more than 10 hours. With music on, which makes it very good to take on a trip or listen to music for a long time without having to charge it. Give it a shot and let me know how it goes. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.